Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to day one of week two on my mental health mathon vlog. Now, as you guys well saw on yesterday's, I had to do it in two parts because doing it with my editing suite, I can only do 15 minutes. So you guys are only gonna get about two minutes every day of just briefly letting you know how I'm doing because otherwise it's two vlogs and that's too much work for me. So enough of going rambling. I will just firstly tell you I have just finished Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. Five stars all the way. Definitely quite a few triggers on OCD, anxiety, a lot of mental health problems and it made me very aware of my own mental health problems and I found myself doing certain OCD that I recognise. But I'll tell you what, it, like my friend said, it really, I wish I would have read this when I was younger because I would have felt a lot less strange and I would have finally felt like someone got me because I've had OCD on and off for most of my life. And so that really was very good and very well written. Done today's pages of Fangirl, absolutely blooming, loved it. Really loving Levi, really loving him meeting the dad and really loving it today. Then today I am now starting, I'm sorry this is a bit shaky today guys. I'm starting my self-care book, This Is For You, but that my sister gave me. It's my self-care book, so it's another tick on the mental health is on one, but it should hopefully be a little bit softer after I'm normal yet, because that has been a bit of a challenge. And then lastly, I am gonna start the host pick, Am I Your Normal Yet by Go Honeymoon. I read this last year, it's a reread, but it's probably one of my favorite books and I love it. It doesn't set any, up any trigger warnings for me. It's a cozy book because I've read it before, but it's one of the best and I really loved it. So can't wait to start this. Quick um, update is that today, I, it's been all right. I felt all right most of the day. Um, kids have slightly driven me crazy, but I'm glad tomorrow's a bank holiday because I can no more homeschooling for the week. I can chill. Chris is going to be at home, so I'm gonna, not going to be doing the load all on my own. So it'll be a lot easier. Fingers crossed anyway. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hi guys. So it's day two of week two of Mental health -a -thon, And I thought I'd fill you all in. Fill me a little bit early because it's B day. So I'm going to try and celebrate a little bit. I will be including a picture of my roses that have come out today. Because I think they're beautiful. And I think, do you know what? I'm going to see if this blog editing thing goes all right for that. I've read today's pages of Fangirl and absolutely loved them really dramatic I, the sibling stuff between Ren and Kath today has really got to me because obviously you know I wanted to read about that with me with having two sisters so that's really good excuse the kids in the background I am about nearly 150 pages in I'm going to aim to try and yeah about 150 pages in on Ele Eleanor Oliphant I want to get to about 100 200 pages for, to before the end of the day to try and get that done but I'm also going to start my chiclet book. I'm sorry, it's a bit shaky today. Of The Hidden Cottage because I'm going to take Nicole's advice and read something a bit more gentle and give myself a bit of a break. It's not on my definite TBR, so I'm going to still going to add it in because I think I'll have time to read it. But it's a book that I bought last year and one that I wanted to add in this year. It's summery, it's springy, it's about cottage, it's about families. It's something I really need at the moment, so... I'm going to take, listen to you, Nicole. See, I do listen to you. By the time this comes out, I would have finished it. Love, finished Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne yesterday. Love that. So I'm having a good day today. Loving the fact there's no homeschooling. So I'm just chilling in the garden. Chris has done the gardening. It looks beautiful and it's a lovely day. And I hope you all, yeah, he's saying. Absolutely, so there's Chris, there's Chris. <laughs> and we're having a lovely day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to day three of week two of Mental Health Thon. I am filming in my kitchen because I'm currently making dinner. I'm going to see if I can show you a picture of what dinner should look like. Hopefully that's all right. We are having, sorry, a beef kofta curry tonight. So I'm going to make it all from scratch because I love cooking like I said to you in the last video. I am about to, when I get back from my walk today, I'm going to be reading The Hidden Cottage. Yesterday I got about 100 pages in and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect chiclet, just what I need right now and I can't wait to watch, read, carry on reading it tonight. It's Chris again in the video. Um, I just finished Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, rated it four stars. 
did really enjoy it, um, but probably a bit less than last time. It's a host pick, Simone's pick for the mental health thon and I did really need it. I flew through it in about two days, which is amazing. I also finished my buddy read for The Fangirl by Ray Morrell, and I loved that. Again, it's only four stars because there were bits I thought could have been done a bit differently. I'm not really into fan fiction, so I think that's probably affected my rating. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Today is a short video. I'm just going to see if I can show you. Look, my lovely food. I'm not very, not very good at this. Did you see that? There's my kofta curry cooking. And I'm going to go for another walk. Have had a bit of a down day today. I think I'm, by the time this goes up, we would have heard what Boris Johnson's doing. But right now is the day before the announcement and I'm a little bit nervous. Can't really settle. I had a really rough night's sleep. So a bit down today, but I'm going out for my walk after dinner, which will brighten me up. Loving being all healthy, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye. Emily from No One Orders, and I don't know why I just said that because we we're on day number six of the second week of Mental Health Athon. This little lady decided she wanted to join in. She's only going to be in it briefly because we've got to do some just normal chatting, and it is Mental Health Athon, so that is important. I'll come back and say it to her in a minute. Anyway, so today I am ha over halfway through The Choice, which is my um, non fiction book for Mental Health Athon. I am going to hopefully finish The Hidden Cottage tonight. I was going to do it last night, but I got chatting to Charlotte from Books and Bargains, and you know what we're like. We were chatting for about 50 minutes, and I'll tell you what, it well and truly cheered me up. We laughed our heads off, and we were chatting so long. I'll tell you what, she is one of the best finds from Booktube, and I love her so much. But yeah, so we had a nice chat last night, so tonight hopefully I'll finish that. I got a bit further in The Night Lawyer, and I really enjoyed that. Definitely found today I've been a bit less stressed because I've pre-planned a lot of Thomas's schoolwork and um, yeah, so I've been able to do a bit less stressful today and managed to keep on top of it, which is what I needed. I certainly feel less stressed. Just went out for a walk and saw loads of teenagers not social distancing, which really wound me up and I didn't like it at all. But there you go, people aren't always going to listen. We're never going to get out of this if people don't listen. So it did wound me up a little bit. But on a happy note, it's been a really good day. I'm really positive. Really want to try and crack on with a bit more of the choice so I can try and finish that tomorrow and try and finish The Hidden Cottage tonight. But how are you all doing? Tomorrow's going to be the last day of week two on this vlog and hopefully I'll be able to get it in one video. Take care, guys. Yeah, Sorry about that. So this is Bill Hill, which is near where we live. Yesterday, you guys know I finished two books and today I'm going to start The Amber Spyglass. Look how gorgeous it is around here, guys. Beautiful words. I'm going to start the Amber Spyglass, which is my buddy read with Gaia, Charlie, and my sister Charlie, and Verna. And I'm also going to start the book called The Choice, which is a book on the tattoo book on Auschwitz. I'm going to go to obviously say hello in this. So they're the two books I'm going to be starting today, and I've obviously got my Hidden Cottage, my Chicklet book as well, which is going to be really good fun. So they're my two buddy reads that I'm going to start. Those are my two books I'm going to start today. I did love my buddy reads, but I'm so glad that... I'm so excited about starting the Amber Spyglass. It's unbelievable. I'm just going to film a little bit longer because these steps up here are killing me. I really do try and go, do a big, long walk. Today I'm going to go to a shop and get another... Oh, I've got to show you guys this. I'm going to get myself a notebook for my channel because I desperately need another book for my new videos. Oh, look at this. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. There you go. You just said hello to Thomas. Oh, my goodness. I'm so tired. Sorry about this. I did love reading my chick lip book last night. Yes, I'm just going to show you this bit and then we're going to go. But it's only a short entry today because, like I said, it's out of my daily exercise and then I've got a busy day. Homeschooling to prepare for. So, guys, you see that, that bit there? That's at the top of the hill. This is actually an ancient Brazil... But bronze mo bronze monument. Age it's the Bronze Age Barrow, yes, so Chris is telling me. But look at this. Anyway, it's beautiful around here, and I hope you all have a lovely day. I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye bye. So it's my vlog for Mental Health Athon week two, day number five. I'm going to quickly fill you in on what I'm reading. Just started today The Night Lawyer, which I'm reading for a vlog tour for Red Door Books. Loving it already. Not read today's pages, but loving it. This one I only started yesterday. I've only read 
It's about 36 pages. I've got a lot more to read today. This one's probably going to be the least of my priorities for this week because I've got a lot more books to read and I've got a lot more stuff to do. This is my non-fiction book for the readathon. It's for Edgar Thiga. It's the choice. Even hell can hope in flower. And this is um, the true story of Edgar Eager's life from Auschwitz. She starts, She was a prisoner there. She was separated and she had to dance for that infamous Joseph Mengali. That guy was evil. This is challenging. I'm only reading this till about 7, 7.30 because it is very hard hitting and I don't want to get nightmares. So it's a good book. It's very hard hitting already. Positive note. Starting my buddy read with this yesterday. Already 100 pages in, already loving it. It's The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. The buddy reads is going really well with my friends. Absolutely loving this book. And then you guys know I'm still reading my chiclet. I've only got about 100 pages left to go on this. I'm going to try and finish that tonight. God, thank God for chiclets right now. I have, On the mental health update, I had a really bad night last night. I didn't get to sleep till about half past 12. Yes, hopefully the kids are going to be going here back in June start to go back in June hopefully so I got the news that I was hoping and praying that we are working towards that which is good but it's still no clarification on when I can hug my family I feel very emotional really didn't sleep really had a having a bit of a rough day but it will get better I will get through this and we'll get there hopefully tomorrow video is going to be a bit happier but I'm sending all my love to you all today I'm um, sorry it's not a happy video sorry it's just a quick update not really in the right place today, but I'll see you all guys soon. Bye bye. Hi, so it's the last day on my vlog. The vlog is literally going to go up minutes after recording today. And do you know what? It's been a bloody horrible day, if I'm being honest. The kids have been a real nightmare. It's only now that the sun's come out, and I have really felt like I'm pulling my, pulling my hair out. On a good note, I have ni I finished another one book last night, The Hidden Cottage, which I loved. I will hopefully finish The Choice tonight, which is my non fiction book. And this evening I'm going to start on this, which is my newest book on my TBR and it's Fern Cotton's Happy and it's one that, that I could really, really do with. It was really good. It looks really good and it's one I need. I need some hints about how to get happier. But it's, the sun's out now. It's looking like it's going to be a sunny week next week and I've loved speaking to you all this week. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope this last week's not been too bad for you. Good news is now that we can all exercise more. Yay! I love that. Go to walks. I'm going to go and see one of, walk with one of my best friends tomorrow night, which is going to be absolutely amazing and really will boost my mental health. I haven't seen her in nine weeks, so tomorrow I expect that if I record afterwards, you will have one happy, happy Emily. Now, when I, while this is uploading, I'm going to be recording my day's pages for the Night Lawyer, which I'm really loving. And yeah. It's been an interesting week, up and down like a roller coaster, like all of us. But I hope you're all safe and well. If you've liked this vlog today, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel or not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. And I'll see you all next soon. Bye-bye.